Ideally, an inker should be positioned on a stand or countertop to provide a convenient height when cooking and cleaning. Due to the weight of the ovens, we recommend using an inker designed stand. This is the safest and easiest option to ensure you get the best from your oven. As you can see, this P300 model is sitting on a stainless steel cabinet with nylon casters for ease of movement. The casters are lockable, so once you have the inker in the perfect position, don't forget to lock the wheels. Inside the cabinet, there is a storage shelf where you can keep any accessories or implements. The cabinet has a stainless steel outer case, dome spring handles and a brush polished finish. We also offer a mild steel stand without doors or shelves. Have a look at our brochure to see the difference. Moving on to the oven. The outer casing of all Inca ovens is 3mm stainless steel. This curve is achieved using a press brake, which is a precise manufacturing method used to bend metal and achieve a consistent angle and curve. At the bottom of the oven is the ash pan. It has a stainless steel mirror finished front with a dome spring handle designed to be cool to the touch even when the oven is hot. The ash pan plays a dual role. It is both the place where the charcoal ash collects as well as an integral means of controlling the burn rate of the charcoal and the heat intensity inside the oven. The ash pan should be emptied and cleaned as necessary. More on that later. Just above the ash pan and beneath the door is the drip tray. This catches food and charcoal residue and helps to keep the floor in front of the oven clean. Above the drip tray is the door. The first thing to notice is the glass. This means you can see what's happening inside the oven, see the charcoal or the food that's cooking without opening the door. Why do we think it's important to have a glass door? Well, we think it's important because opening the door frequently is the single biggest cause of heat loss and lower fuel efficiency. We have gone to great lengths to design the door so if the metal frame expands or contracts due to the heat, the glass remains safe and intact. The glass is actually ceramic and is heat resistant up to 750 degrees C. For this reason, the glass cannot be toughened or reinforced. So, like any oven, you should treat it with respect and avoid slamming the door or dropping objects directly onto the glass. As with the ash pan, the door has a dome spring handle specifically designed to be cool to the touch even when the oven is very hot. Above the door we have the analogue thermometer and the draft regulator handle. Let's talk about the thermometer first. The thermometer is a bimetallic analogue thermometer and reads up to 500 degrees. This is not a challenge to turn the oven into a furnace and the ideal cooking temperature is between 300 and 400 degrees. Above this temperature the fuel efficiency decreases and it's likely you'll end up burning a lot of food. As you become more experienced, you will become more comfortable cooking at these higher temperatures. The draft regulator handle is in the middle of the oven and controls a butterfly plate inside the chimney flue. If you remove the top hat and put your hand inside the flue, remove the handle, you can feel how it works, opening and closing to regulate the amount of airflow in and out of the oven but more about this later. On top of the oven is the chimney flue itself and this is where hot air and smoke leave the oven. The top hat is a cosmetic addition but inside the top hat is the spark arrester which stops sparks from leaving the oven and this is an essential safety feature and should be used at all times. Now let's look inside the oven. At the bottom of the oven is a 12 millimeter steel grate. We use steel instead of cast iron because it's less brittle, allowing you to remove the grate and clean beneath it without fear of cracking or breaking the grate. Above the grate is the grill shelf. On this model, the P300, there are four different shelf height options and one shelf. On the larger ovens, there are six shelf height options and two shelves. The shelves are reinforced stainless steel, very durable and easy to clean. They are fully removable and should be cleaned daily or more frequently if necessary. On the ceiling of the oven is a built-in fire break. 
This is specifically designed to stop flames going into the flue and it has been tested to an excess of 750 degrees. This is a design registered to Inca. You should never attempt to remove or alter the fire break as this is an important safety feature. And that's it. Very simple but effective. Not many moving parts so little can go wrong and each element has been designed, tested and manufactured in the UK. Now we're going to demonstrate how to light the Inca. First of all you will need some fuel. Later we'll talk about fuel in more detail but for now let's just remember Inca charcoal ovens only use wood charcoal. The main thing when lighting the oven is this. It's easy to add charcoal if you start with too little but it's very difficult to take charcoal out once the oven is lit. So we recommend you always start small and build the fire as you require. 